It was moving day. I had to pack my car and prepare to depart my home for the last time after saying goodbye to my father and my mother. I did it. I left. I would travel first from Florida to Atlanta, Georgia, where I would shoot the hooch with my friends. That is the Chattahoochee River. There he is. Uh, oh, it's cold. Today we're. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're shooting the hooch. Hooch in the shoot. Scooch in the. Shooting the hooch. Shooting the hooch yeah. with the squad. With the squad and the ducks. That's uh, Matricia, Macbeth, McQuackers. Uh, I don't know what they're feeding them. They're feeding them dirt. Oh, Alice, nice. Allison's feeding them mud. The times were filled with fun and foolishness. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at the Olympic diving trials. Um, up first, we have Mauricio Pana. Mauricio Pana. Very, very fun. Uh, Mauricio's been training for how long? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Um, it looks like he's a little but bit. But he has a web toe, so he's got an advantage here. For a web toe? Back. Is that legal? Yes, it's legal. It's fine because it doesn't really help much with the aerodynamics of the dive. Oh! There we go. He just oh. Nice little... Ooh. oh! Ricky likes to try to throw rocks as far as he can, but he's not very good at it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Listen, listen, listen. This is the uh, best three out of five. Ooh. I'm 0 for 3. Okay, well. Okay. So does that mean. Is this gold? Right. Yeah, yeah, nothing but gold. gold. It's gold. Let's take See? it. See? I told you, Where's your man? I told her. See? So there's gold in the uh, rocks. People usually don't even touch it because it's so small, they don't even care. Hi, my name is Ricky Gonzalez, and this is the Speed Speaker. Oh, that was sick. sick. Wow. Hey. Oh, wait, my oh. name's Dave, but not Ricky. Uh oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Who was it? But y'all right, y'all are all still two two. Two. <laughs> all right, well, they went past the exit point. Now Ricky has to swim against the current. He's definitely floating out of frame. Oh god! Oh, he's fine. All right, he can stand. Did you have fun? I did. It's fantastic. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you have fun? Oh, it's very good? This country is very good. Good to have you here. Yes. Very yes. happy to, that you're here. Thank you. Thank you for coming from here, for here, for us. The lake was kind to me and my friends that day, but the road was not as friendly. All right, so I've been driving mostly all day. Fortunately for me, I'm going from Knoxville to North Carolina, Outer Banks, hang out with my boy Zach, meet up with those special guests to kick their butt and Putt, putt. I don't know, I try to say like pit, pit, paintball. But I'm gonna go meet up with uh, Jake the Viking and Zach Farner. It's an eight and a half hour drive from Knoxville to North Carolina, Outer Banks. So very far. Wish I wouldn't have scheduled such a far drive today, but I did it. Learning first time plotting out a road trip like this, this big by myself. Um, I didn't do it all by myself even. I had some help, but I didn't, I still didn't plan good enough. But I learned, so I'm okay with that. This whole road trip, I expected it to feel like a magical journey of getting to see all the people I've been able to be friends with over my life before I get out to LA. And it has been that. But it has also been weighted a little bit, weighed down by the thought of where I gotta get to next and how soon I gotta leave and just details that weren't hammered out maybe properly enough before I left. Today, I, I wasn't super well rested. I was nervous about getting on the road for eight hours. And also I realized that some of these spots, some of the people I'm seeing, it's fantastic. But then I'm also realizing as I'm driving and having to call home and call some friends while I'm just driving from that by myself. I'm like, God, these are some of the best conversations I've had in a long time. Some of this stuff, some of the people I've met and visited, I'm like, it's very good to see people to hug their necks. But also, if you don't have the time to see kind of like, to talk to people and like kind of figure out where are you, how are you? How's your soul? All those things I kind of ask people. Sometimes a long distance open heart phone call can be just as impactful, if not more, than a quick stopover for the night to say hi, get food, and they gotta go to work the next morning, you know? That's something I've kind of learned. After Lonnie stopped whining in the car, he went to the Outer Banks, where he played games of mini golf with his friends, including Jake the Viking, Shelby, Zach, and Abby. 
they saw creepy mannequins in a cave and the most adorable little train that is known to man. You want to get a full, full swing, come down. You want to just kiss the grass. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you did the uh, the tennis. It's like you did tennis. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Full is perfect. I'm scared. This one is so. You hit it right. You hit it right. You hit it right. Look at that. You hit it right. Beautiful. Uh, uh, uh. My name is Shelby. Yeah. I was here for beer, but they don't offer it, so now I'm just here. Tragic. Is see you out there on the green. This is just part of the trials of golf. You can't always, <laughs> can't always get the ball out. Oh my god. Honestly, it doesn't matter what the score is because I focused on the kids. This is a charity golfing event. Um, it sounds like something a loser would say. It was not a charity golfing event. Lonnie just doesn't like to lose. That's something that someone who doesn't care about children would say. You know, the charity golfing event. <laughs> After the golfing tournament, we sat down to eat at a very nice restaurant where we also colored some ducks to pass the time. Oh, inspiration. Welcome to my studio. So my inspiration was a common classic Canadian male mallard. Oh, Russian. Oh, Russian. The thing is, well, his eyes the are eyeball, the eyeball. Oh my god. god. He's Russian. Right? Yeah. He's, he's drinking a lot, of course. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of vodka. Lots of vodka. Yeah, yeah, just keep him big back here. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. The meal was delicious here. Don't get that wrong. What came after this meal was not delicious. This is jalapeno popcorn flavored ice cream. I don't like trying things. Bro, really? Why? It tastes like corn. With why? Why? It's spicy. Where's my other ice cream? I need to cleanse my palate. What is that? It's not my favorite. What is that? How do you pop my ice cream? Why does it taste like that? <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> what is that, man? Yeah, so anyhow, I'm gonna be on the road for about 30 days, and every week there's gonna be a new section of the vlog all month long. So stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, t uh, Twitch, Yelp, um, MySpace, Vin TikTok, Venmo.